Now let's try this. Close your eyes and imagine a life of abundance. You cannot see the color of the table. You cannot see what's on the screen, and you cannot even see the face of the person who sits beside you. Then open your eyes and look around. What a wonderful world! It's such a treasure to have a healthy vision. However, in the U.S., over three million people are losing their vision due to an eye disease called glaucoma, which is the death of nerves that send light information from our eyes to the brain. Glaucoma is the leading cause of irreversible vision loss worldwide. Everyone is at risk for glaucoma, from newborns to senior citizens. The only treatment now. Is to reduce the pressure in the front of our eye. This is not blood pressure. In fact, there are no blood vessels in the front part because they will block our vision. The front of our eye works like a bathtub. The tap cells extract water and nutrition from the bloodstream and release clear fluid to fulfill the tub. On the other end, the drainage cell. Drain out this fluid and put it back to the bloodstream. Therefore, either the increase of the production or the blockage of the drainage can increase the volume of the fluid in the tub, and in turn increase the air pressure. In most cases, the problem is the blockage of the drainage. So my lab obtains organ donor eyes and isolates. The drainage cells to see what genes have changed their expression in glaucoma patients. So far, we have identified over a hundred differences, and by looking into functions of these genes, we found two big groups. One group of genes can make drainage cells connect tighter, so they are less holes for drainage. The other group of genes can produce waste and throw them around the drainage cells to clog the holes, just like hairs in your bathtub. So we are confident that our findings can form the basis for a future drug to unclog the drains of glaucoma patients before they lose their vision.